this morning. I thought we'd just play that, get into a little but bit of a swing of it. We're going to yeah. play you a bit of Kylie. I said, what one? They said, Padam, and then it was there. Padam, Padam. <laughs> Sorry to get into that one, uh, I think. Uh, yeah, you are, girl. <laughs> you go for it. <laughs> Good morning. Um, I'm joined by this legend this morning. How are you? Well, we've already had way too much fun that anybody should ever have at yeah. work already this morning. If I'm anybody sure saw their, those conversations in that makeup room, we... We'd be cancelled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what have yeah. you done? Hey, good weekend. Do you know what? I had a really good weekend, thanks, Joyce. I took the kids camping, which, well, I say camping, I'm going to keep it real with you, it was glamping. I said to my mum, we've gone camping. She popped down to see us and she was like, just so you know, this is not camping, this is glamping. But it was so much fun. We'd never done it before with the kids. And, yeah, they were sort of staying out, you know, late at night in their pyjamas in the park and everyone had a bit of freedom. It was so lovely. You're talking to the lady that loves camping. I just think it's the best thing in the world. Is it's it? out in nature. Yeah. They, you can see all the stars at night. Oh, it was it's so gorgeous. good for the soul, isn't it? Yeah, honestly, I feel like I've got a really full heart starting off on a Monday. So yeah. that's it now? You're a converted that's camper, it. I'm a regular... You? Glamping. You've heard it. I'm all... just going to keep it real. We're not fully all the way there. No. It's glamping. <laughs> all right. Oh, the glamping is the one, though. Isn't yeah. It? I like a little yeah. mattress. Yeah, a, a little, like a a, a little blow-up mattress. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nice double bed. Yeah. yeah. Like proper bed. The whole bedding. shebang. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> not really camping, but nearly that. Uh, now, Edinburgh Fringe Festival is in full swing, and our very own Giles has been performing his one-man show since the beginning of the month. So we've sent Giles to the streets of Edinburgh to see what else is going on. Good morning Good to morning. you, Giles. Look how happy he looks. <laughs> Good morning, you two. Good to be with you. I like a bit of camping as well, I must say. Welcome to Edinburgh. <laughs> My heart belongs to Scotland at this time of year because I'm at the Edinburgh Fringe, the world's biggest and best international arts festival. 3,500 shows from around the world. And I say around the world, I mean around the world. Let's start the show with a slice of Guinea, West Africa. Goodness gracious me, it's fantastic. Take a bow. Yamusa, you are the artistic director, you're the creator of this? Yes, yes. And does this represent Guinea? How does this represent Guinea? Exactly, so this is African Silk Show. It's uh, inspired by daily life in Guinea. So, is this daily life, this kind of yes. human Rubik cube here? Yeah. Kind of, yeah. It's extraordinary. Yeah, and... Uh, we, in African silk, you see a drumming, you see acrobatic, you see contortion, uh, and uh, we mix that with uh, 
circus skills. The, the fringe has been going since 1947, since before Ooh. I was born. Wow. Uh, this is your first fringe. Yeah, this Are they is our first you? one. Are you having a good time? Yeah, really a good time, yes. And this guy here, this isn't CGI, this is the real thing. Am, am I too old to learn this? Could I? No, you're not too old. You know, you I'm not old. You ready? We can sign up now. Excellent! Yes. I'm going to sign yeah. up. I'm going to join you. Congratulations Good. to yes. you. There's so much more to come. I can tell you. We have got some singing sensations out of the blue. We have got a sword swallower for you. We have got me even saying my first attempt at being part of an urban circus. It's all happening here on the Edinburgh Fringe. You ain't seen nothing yet. Well, oh. is there enough time to teach Giles how to do that? <laughs> By the time we go back to him in the next hit. Can he learn to be the human Rubik's Cube by the time we come back to him? Do you know what? I really, really enjoyed that. I and love I, that. I think you'd be good at that. <laughs> Let me tell you something for free. I will not be good at that. I think you got it. Really? Yeah. I could just like touch my toes, but I think you'd make a good contortionist. <laughs> Definitely not. Yeah. Definitely. I've got weird elbows. I mean, this is a story for another day, guys. But I've got weird, like... You're double jointed, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes in pictures, I'm like, woo, and everyone's like, what happened to your elbows? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right, Giles, we want to see it. We're here for it. Yes. Now, uh, here's what else we've got coming up on the show today. Dr Deepak is here with his top tips to help you avoid getting any unwanted tooth problems. Good morning, Deepak. What have you got for us today? Hi, morning all. Yeah, I've got some great tips for everybody today. We know it's impossible to get into a dental clinic. So hopefully with today's uh, tips and some pearls of wisdom, we'll help you make sure you spend as least time as possible inside a dental chair. Thank you very much. And Phil Vickery's in the kitchen with the perfect dish to kickstart the week. What is on the menu today, Mr Vickery? Well, if you're suffering from frostbite for this summer, <laughs> it's 15 <laughs> degrees out, this will cheer and warm you up. So we've got two kebabs here, all our skewers, that's a chicken and pepper one. We've also got a jerk-style uh, lamb leg kebab. Both come with sauces, which you can become marinated, plus also dips at the end. And a little braised rice, peas and lots and lots of herbs. Dead easy, dead simple, about 12 o'clock. I cannot wait for you at that. Everything you make is absolutely marvellous. It oh, is. You're so sweet. It is. Thank you. You're so sweet. I know. Uh, now, uh, they're one of the nation's favourite on-screen couples. Alison Steadman and Larry Lamb are taking a trip down memory lane, travelling from Billericay to Barry Island, remembering some of the most iconic locations from Gavin and Stacey and having a bit of fun along the way. I would say they will have a lot of fun. Also on the show, we're going to be meeting the 10-year-old schoolboy who's smashing powerlifting world records as he, as he has his eyes set on one day being the world's strongest man. That's at 10.35. Uh, we'll be going back to Edinburgh where Giles is so Soaking up the atmosphere of this year's Fringe Festival at 10.45. And we'll be meeting the woman who has been eating toilet paper every day for over 20 years. Yes, you heard that right. That's at quarter to 12. And a word on our phone in today. Hagen Fox is here to take your calls and it's a big, big day in astrology today. Isn't that right, Hagen? Morning, guys. Yeah, it's, well, it's, it's an upcoming new moon in Leo on Wednesday. So I'm kind of giving everyone a heads up. Basically... It's all about the individual and it's about affirmations. It's a, it's a beautiful, happy, positive new moon. So whatever you want, whatever you desire, look in front of the mirror and ask the question and believe it and it may just come your way. I love oh. that. Give us a call for free on 08030 40 44. I download our free this morning app to get involved. Please get in touch by 11.15 today and you must be 18 or over.